Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, this feels so strange doing this video. It has been a year since I've uploaded. It has been three months since I've done a set of nails with the UK being, well the whole world in lockdown, but obviously the UK is still slightly um you know like in lockdown but we can have a social bubble so i'm doing my cousin's nails at the moment and it, everything just felt strange i felt strange holding a brush i felt like i had lost my technique it was just really really bizarre so i did try my best um anyways i'm just making a nail bed here a pointy one and i'm using the glitter bells pink bell cover um and i'm just Trying to get the shape as neat as possible. Right guys, I'm really sorry that I disappeared for a couple of seconds there. I haven't uploaded, as I say, in a year in Movie Maker has just got my head absolutely boggled. So anyways, I'm doing this the best that I can to so please bear with us. So this gorgeous pink that I am using at the minute is from Glitter Bells and it's called Neon Fuchsia Shimmer and it's absolutely stunning. The design that she had showed us was in a neon yellow but she said that she wanted pink um, and this by far is just beautiful. Um, Glitter Bells is one of them powders that I think you're either going to love or you're going to hate. Um, some colours are better than others. Um, I do absolutely love them. Um, I use them more 90% out of all of my colours nowadays. I just love the packaging as well and for the value for money as well. You just cannot complain. So obviously on these hands I'm going to be doing some ombres. I hate ombre nude with neon colours. It's oh my god. Some people are just amazing at it and then there's people likes of me that is just not amazing but you know I do my best and as I say I felt like my game wasn't really on point. I mean, they were still beautiful at the end. I think we're just our worst critics, aren't we? So anyways, guys, how have you been? What have you been up to? Oh my God, there's so much going on in my life at the minute. I'm getting married in 75 days. I am so excited. I've got my hen party coming up in 40, 41 days, I think. I'm just so excited and I just thought why why don't I just hire YouTube into the mix as well so anyways enough with my life let's get back to nails um obviously the primer and dehydrator that I also used was from glitter bells but I have to say I use CJP's um clear powder but I use um glitter bells is liquid Funny combination, I know, but it works. Um, I'm not keen on Glitter Bell's clear powder. I find it very runny. Um, I just can't work with it at all. Whereas I find CJP is powder is a lot more firmer and just holds on the nail a lot better. Um, I know a lot of people don't like mixing different brands, but I've been doing this technique for over a year now and I have no problems with lifting or reactions or anything like that. Um, so if you are struggling with, you know, glitter bells is like clear, it might just be me. It, you know, I'm not to say, you know, that that pro product's horrible or anything. It just, I just found it, it went on the nail a little bit too thin for my liking. So anyways, I have not explained that ombre at all. I was just placing the pink bell, um, you know, by the cuticle and just ombre in that over the pink the best that I could. And then I applied a bit of pink by the free edge and feathered that back over. So just using a 180 grit file, I'm just trying to make them crisp, sharp lines. And I'm not going to go over the nude because this is not a strength powder. So I am just mm -hmm. obviously going to fill it. What am I trying to say? The French. Um, just doing that with small beads. And I'm using my CJP Big Boy brush. This is my third brush now. I think I get about one a year. Um, I do nails every single day. 
and I find these brushes last me a good year so I think they're about I'm not sure about 28 pounds something like that you know so value for money brilliant cannot fault it I love CJP stuff by the way um so once obviously I've done all of that then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of crystal glass from CJP and just going over that pink just a thin layer it's just mainly for when I file that I'm not going to file into that pink and I'm not putting any over the nude it's just where that blend is really so obviously I don't file away any of the blend um obviously i didn't record adding a few gems she decided she wanted some gems around the cuticle of her pinky and her index finger um so yeah i just added them with the like gel glue and then i'm using a top coat the top coat i'm been struggling to get top coat um i normally use the is it the lavender violet i normally use that one and absolutely love it but this is just a different one and it's all right it's it's doing the job so just taking care not to get any on the skin and then once i've applied all that i will just pop it in my lamp for 30 seconds add some cuticle oil and i'm not sure if these pictures at the end are blurry or not again i am so sorry i will get better it again i promise so i hope you are all well staying safe i hope you like and subscribe um, and it's been so nice to be back so thanks for watching guys see you bye